are we doing today, guys? Ah, I missed you yesterday. And yes, this shirt I believe I wore like two days ago. I did laundry, goddammit. But sometimes if I don't mention that and I wear the same shirt like in the day after I do laundry, some dum-dums comment saying, oh, you wear the same shirt every day. I have worn the same shirt multiple days before, but still. Laundry is wonderful. Anyways, I made a new RuneScape, or rather, about to be uploading a new RuneScape video. I basically made a dice clan on RuneScape, and I want you guys to join it so I can steal all your money. Actually, I'm just fucking around, but it is about dice games, so... That video will be uploaded, eh, probably in about a half hour or so. Uh, just me talking about some shit on RuneScape, and basically some updates in some dice games. Or rather, about di dice games in general. Also, I have a new video going up on my IRL channel. Last night, I didn't play RuneScape. So, therefore, no vlog. Yeah. Because I didn't play RuneScape. So, yeah. That might kind of shock as some of you guys. Got some PMs wondering if I died. Actually, a pretty interesting one that I got was uh, if I passed out in my shower and I died. That's some of the PMs that you wonderful people PM me with. Anyways, as for some other shit, uh, tonight is fairly late. Just got back from a uh, family's house or a uh, relative's house. Uh, uh, sorry, that was a burp. Was eating uh, dinner over their house. But otherwise, was uh, busy today. Really didn't get on RuneScape. Probably going to spend about an hour or so fletching my balls off and then go to sleep. All right, but one thing I actually did do last night was I played five and a half hours of Nazi zombies on Black Ops. Now, that might be a lot, but it was a five and a half hour one game. Yes! And I actually recorded every single minute of it. So therefore, those of you guys who watch my gaming videos, well, I made it balls deep fucking far. Probably a lot farther than a lot of you guys have ever thought about making it on Black Ops Nazi Zombies. But you guys won't be seeing those videos for a while because um, I got like one more video. About, once again, this is for people watching Black Ops and gaming shit. If you don't watch videos on my gaming channel, then you don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, otherwise, um, I got like one more Black Ops video, then going to start making some more Minecraft and shit. Then probably in a month or so, I got probably about, I'd say, 70 pre-recorded videos of me destroying zombies. Once again, it's kind of funny to see what you guys say, because some of you guys understand that videos on my gaming channel are pre-recorded. Like the videos I'm uploading now, I recorded probably about three months ago. So, it's always wonderful. <laughs> you guys are so motivating. Anyways, as for some RuneScape shit, um, actually, a new update came out today. Where the fuck is this thing? Um, uh, Draenor has been totally altered. Um, I actually showed that in my new RuneScape video as well. Uh, basically, it looks... It, in my opinion, it looks a lot sexier. I mean... Once again, like I said, I, we compared this, I mean, like, the RuneScape and Morrowind 3, The Elder Scrolls 3. The reason why I no longer play Morrowind is because the game doesn't update. So I have literally done every single fucking thing I can do in the game. Like, in the game Morrowind, The Elder Scrolls 3, you can be part of these guilds. And I guess they are called clans on RuneScape. In that game, they're called guilds. So you could be part of the Smithing Guild, the Warriors Guild, the Thieving Guild, etc., etc. You could be part of ten different guilds. Once you complete all the miniature quests in the guild, you are then ranked the highest guild member. I am ranked the highest guild member in all ten. Not to mention, I beat the, the main fucking quest on Morrowind. Yeah. I'm a questing motherfucker on Morrowind, that's because there's nothing else to do. I have the best armor in the Morrowind game, I have the most expensive shit, my character is uber strong, I can kill shit in like one hit, I can shoot fireballs from my sword, so I mean everything in that game I've accomplished. Now on RuneScape, let's say like three years ago, if they didn't add Dungeoneering, if they didn't add 
new requests. Well, a lot of people would have the quest cape, and a lot of people would be bored because there wouldn't really be anything left to fucking do. And that's what I think a lot of you guys play RuneScape for, and myself, is because of the updates. Constantly changing. That's why RuneScape is always probably going to remain number one for a long-ass time. Um, for those of you guys who played World of Warcraft, me personally, the reason why I don't play World of Warcraft is because I just don't like the game. Is it a good game? Yeah, it's a fucking awesome game. It's just that updates in that game, uh, from what I've heard, don't really come as fast as they do on RuneScape. I mean, I understand they released like a big expansion pack not too long ago, but RuneScape is constantly updating the game fucking weekly. You look on the main page, there is a new update every week. So, big significant difference between other video games and RuneScape in general. But, um, definitely check out my new RuneScape video when it's out. And that's pretty much about it. But otherwise, guys, like I said, I'll be on RuneScape for a few tonight, fletching my balls off. Once again, uh, I know that a lot of you guys have been asking me to do Sunday DMs in my uh, little friends chat. If you are an asshole and you spam, then I will kick you, and I will never fight you on a DM. But if you're polite and, well, you're not a douchebag, then yes, you can be on a Sunday's DM. It's just I understand some of you guys are impatient, but you got to understand there's a difference between being an asshole and being polite and stuff like that. And uh, me personally, I don't deal with assholes. I, that's just my thing. If people are douchebags and assholes, I just tend to stay away from them. But if people are actually polite and would like to have a civil conversation, well then, that's good. That's why I don't talk to anyone when I'm in Bounty or the Wild and stuff. If you guys ever see me in the Wild, no offense, but just stay away from me because I will not reply to you. But then again, if you're at a bank fletching with me, I'll have a conversation with you for an hour. But, then again, when is the only time I go into the wild? For video making. So that's why I keep my public off all the time. But otherwise, guys, right now I want to go to my email address and we have some happy hoopa hoopa questions. Ask nightmarechatwho.com and I talk to me. You who is otherwise, well, people will continue to be fucking assholes. First hoopa hoopa question. Dragon claws are crashing. I bought them at 20 mil. Do you think they will rise? They are currently at 16.5. I actually saw them in World 2 going for 15.5. So, yeah. Uh, Ars username, kill all day. Um, Summer Rise is going to happen. It's just that it's going to happen, but things are not going to return to what they were. Now, last year, Claws rose to like 39 mil. Will Dragon Claws be 39 mil? Fuck no. They might be 24 or 25, but for them to be this low... Uh, that was a burp. Sorry. Goddamn Mountain Dew. For them to be back at 39, that's not going to happen probably ever. Unless something happens in the game that will make them rise. Otherwise, Dragon Claws may go 22, 23. I'm predicting the highest they will peak is probably about 26, maybe 27. Oh well. Next question. You are 89 Herblord. Why the fuck don't you make extreme attack and strength? For when you go PKing, I think it will help you fuck up a lot of shit. Our your name? I am, uh, Baba, I, or Baba, or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, someone leave, or rather, all you guys can leave nasty, dirty little comments in the comment section below as to, well, why that is impossible for me to do. <laughs> I remember when Extremes first came out, a day later... Jagex realized, wait a second, we can't allow this in Bounty Hunter Worlds. Well, yeah, imagine if you could bring fucking overloads with you, PKing. I think an AGS would be literally a one-hit KO. Like, literally, it would hit a 9999, or a 9, or if you're using Bru uh, Sarah Brew, then maybe like an 1150 or some shit like that. You would die. That's pretty much about it. But otherwise, guys, if you got anything for me, you can leave it in a nasty, dirty little comment, and I'll see you happy, motivating motherfuckers tomorrow. Bye!